Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. Well, I thought I would uh, hop on here today and do a video and share with you guys some of the things I've got uh, finished. It's, uh, it's a bummer that I don't get to do it outside. <laughs> and that's only, it's really pretty, but it is really cold too and the wind's blowing. So I didn't feel like uh, fighting, fighting all of that. So, but anyway, um, also, I, I just want to say thank you to everybody for the prayers and stuff. I do feel a lot better than I did from the last video. I still have a, a lingering cough that comes and goes quite often, and it's kind of aggravating. You know, I have my moments where it just seems like I can't stop coughing, but so you'll have to uh, please bear with me if I start in. I'll just have to pause the video, which I'm known for pausing a lot anyway. <laughs> anyway, I've got my my little uh, helper here in the background she's watching the birds out there so anyhow i do have some finished objects can you believe it um i've been quite busy and i've been on a uh, kick of with my cotton yarn i've been wanting to use up try to use up all of it i had a lot that i bought last year and then a lot of it just sat on the shelf and so i decided that i thought i would try to bust through the biggest part of it and make me some things that I've been wanting to make for a while that I've just never gotten around to for myself. So I decided I wanted to make me some new uh, dishcloths and some uh, washcloths. And uh, so, and last week I showed you some of the uh, washcloths that I made and I was looking for a basket. Or I had talked about either making one or buying me one. Well, me and hubby, we went out of town uh, about, I guess it was about a little almost I don't think it's been quite a week but anyway I wanted to go see if I can find me one and so I went everywhere I went to uh, Hobby Lobby I went to um, a couple of other stores and I still couldn't find one exactly the way I wanted to and then I ended up finding one the next day at a Dollar General <laughs> and I was so excited whenever I found it and here it is <laughs> now it is the perfect size <clears throat> for what I was looking for but after I put my washcloths in there I got room for a couple of more which I'm excited and I thought it was a really pretty basket and it goes perfect in one of my bathrooms it looks black on there but it's gray and wicker and so anyway so I ended up making a couple of more uh, washcloths for it I hear my kitty cat over there doing something he's always in something and so this time I used a green now this is 100% cotton. I love this cotton and it is from the, you know, Hobby Lobby. And I used, I think it was a five millimeter hook. Now this is a pattern, got my notes here. It's called the Sweet Susie Washcloth and it's on B Crochet website. And I used a five millimeter hook, but I love the texture in it. And I think last time I said it's a, uh, oh, a back post or whatever. Or, yeah, it's a you go in the back loop every so you hear my clock. <laughs> I got a clock that uh, lets off bird sounds on the hour every time. So, but anyway, <clears throat> it's not like I got birds in the house. <laughs> but anyway, it gives it texture, and I really love this design. And I, uh, I did make. I think I said I made some that had the border around it. Yes. So I decided not to put the border around this one. I like it better without it. So I ended up making two of them. And now my basket will be full. So I'll be adding these in there and it'll be full now. So <laughs> my lighting's gonna be horrible in here too. I notice it's starting to do the fading in and out and I look orange, <laughs> but anyway. So that's what I did there. And then I decided, you know, I was wanting to make some for my other bathroom. And in there, I've got uh, there's actually a picture that hangs on the wall that's got all the colors in it and it's like a picture of a mason jar and it's got like, like a bunch of wildflowers in it and it has a saying on it and I can't remember what the saying is but anyway I love the colors in it so I kind of went off that with how to, to do in my bathroom my other one and so I decided that I wanted to use colors like this now this is all from uh, Hobby Lobby I love this cotton and it's, um, I used the, the five millimeter hook. And so I made 
two of this color and I think this one is uh, deep turquoise so I made two of that color I think this one is coral and I made two of them <laughs> I don't remember the colorway on this one but I made two of that color got my helper here and I made two of this color it's some kind of a it might be called gold I'm not sure but it looks kind of yellowy on there it looks real gold <laughs> I made two of this color of green and that's it <laughs> and I am planning on making a couple of more I just don't know which color I'm going to do now but that's quite a bit and like I said I love I love uh, the way it looks and I like I said I left the border off of it oh woody okay and I'll put links down below to everything that I talk about <laughs> And what I show you guys, he wants to help. <laughs> Every time I sit on the couch, he always has to come over and uh, get his loving. And after he gets it, then he'll venture off. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to share with you guys, uh, that day whenever I went to uh, Hobby Lobby, I decided I wanted to, of course, look at the yarn. <laughs> Here I've been talking about busting through my uh, cotton, and I decided... I think I'm going to look anyway, just in case they might have had, you know, some. I don't know when they put it on clearance, but uh, I just thought I'd check while I was in there. And, of course, they didn't have it on clearance, and they didn't have it on sale that week, but that's okay. So, as I was looking, I was looking at the cotton, because I don't have very much uh, variegated cotton. And I seen some that I thought was absolutely beautiful, and so I grabbed me a couple of uh, skeins of it. And it is, and I think the colorway on it is called Harvest. So I ended up making me some um, dishcloths. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I just love this. And I, it looks, I don't know, I'm kind of going with, um, some of my stuff in my kitchen is the Pioneer Woman. And I love the look of it. And that's what this color reminds me of is some of the stuff that she came out with. Now, the red isn't as, this is more of a fall looking color, but it's not as red like the red that she uses. But I still think they're beautiful. And I love the texture of this. This is a pattern. Can I have my notes, Woody? Thank you. <laughs> this is a pattern by, uh, let's see here, Petals to Pickets. And it's called the Texture Crochet Dishcloth Pattern. And I used a 5 millimeter hook. But I just think it is so pretty. And as soon as I seen it, I just, I love the texture. The way it looked. And the texture, I, I do, I love it. And just the way it looks. And I did not put a border around it. Hers has got like uh, two rows of single crochet around it. And I did do, I did start on one doing it. But I just didn't like it too much. And so... And, I, and then I got thinking, well, I want to try to get as much as I can, you know, out of this color of, see, you know, uh, dishcloths. And so I left the border off because I decided if I wanted to go back with the border, I could pick like a white to really make it pop. But I decided not to. So I ended up making, I got four out of the two skeins. And I still have a little bit of a ball left. But I do, I absolutely love this. And this is, uh, this was a lot of fun and it was super easy. Uh, just double crochet and single crochet and um, like double and uh, two doubles and a single and one stitch and all that so very pretty love it I will definitely uh, use that pattern a lot okay so I got that done now my notes <laughs> Woody's got me distracted here so Anyway, uh, the next thing that I made, um, I've been wanting to make some of these too. And like I said, I've just never been, just never got around to it. And so I finally decided since I've been on a, uh, wanting to use my cotton, hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. Coughing spell. <laughs> Felt it coming on. Okay. Got my water here. Okay, now the next thing, as I was saying, uh, I've been wanting to make some of these too. And I'm always seeing the patterns and, and think, okay, I'm going to make that. And I need to, I'd like to, and never get around to it. But uh, Sarah Sash came out with one. 
think it was just this last week. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, okay, it's time. So, and I really liked the way, way hers looked really easy. And so I finally sit down and I made two of them. Now, one of them is going to be for my uh, kiddo and the other one is uh, for me. And so the first one I made, I made out of uh, peaches and cream. And it was that variegated green. I can't, I don't have the ball band I threw it away. <laughs> but anyway, here's how it turned out. I absolutely love this. I just think it is so pretty, the texture to it and everything. And I, uh, I put it on my stove handle and it is just perfect. And I will insert a picture to show you what it looks like. But I absolutely love this. And I am definitely going to be making me a bunch more of these. And uh, I love the way the green worked up to it. It's so pretty and springy. Like, I am so ready for spring, guys. Oh, my goodness. We, we had uh, warm weather. Then we had uh, ice and snow. And then we got warm again up to the 70s. We just had some severe storms. It was like 70 degrees. And now we're supposed to turn around and have more icy weather here in another week. So, <laughs> come on, spring. But anyway, I, I think this is so pretty, and it does remind me of spring colors. So, I made that one for her. And this used almost two skeins. If you'll hold on just a second, I'll get it and show you how much. I thought I threw away the ball band, but I still have it. It is the colorway green stripes. And these are the peaches and cream. And they've got 102 yards in it. And I used one whole one, and I still have this much of one left. So, this one and uh, a scrap of something else. I got some more of that green left that I made that, um, oh, this one right here. There you go. That'd be perfect. So, you could get another one out of it. Part of one, at least. But I just thought it was so pretty. And so, I decided to make me one. Now, as I mentioned before, um... My kitchen's just got a little bit of everything in it. I, I love uh, the vintage cookie jars. I've got a strawberry one over there. It's an old McCoy. I think I found it at the yard at a flea market. I think I paid 75 cents for it because it had a crack. Uh, one of the leaves had a chip in it or something. I, I can't remember. It's been a couple of years. But as soon as I seen it and it was a McCoy, I, I grabbed it because, I, you know, them, they're old. They're vintage. This one is, I know for sure. It looks like it might have come from the 70s, maybe. But anyway, I got it. So my kitchen is just a little bit of everything. And so I got some of the Pioneer late, uh, Woman stuff. And so I decided to use this color and make one like that, out of that color. And I put white around the border of it. And I think it is so pretty. And uh, I do. I absolutely love these. Now, this is uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And I can't remember the colorway on it. I, I don't have, I've been real bad about taking my ball bands off and just throwing them away. And I shouldn't do that because then I'm thinking I can't remember what that colorway is. <laughs> but anyway, look at the texture on that. Isn't that beautiful? It's such a beautiful stitch. And super easy. The V-stitch. And so I was ha really excited when she came out with it. And so definitely going to be making me several of these. I've never used... You know, I've always just bought those, uh, oh, feed sack um, towels at Walmart. And that's what I, you know, they're just solid white feed sack towels. And that's what I use in my kitchen. But I've always wanted to make stuff like this to try. And so now I got me one and I'm going to hang it up as soon as I am done making my video. And I'll insert a picture of what they look hanging on the stove because they're very pretty. Okay. Now... Let's see what I have here. Okay. Um, I do have a couple of amigurumis I'm going to show you. The baby blanket that I have been working on. It is a... I've lost my notes. Well, it is <laughs> It is a pattern by Maria's Blue Crayon. And it's her ocean-themed one. And so I've been wanting to make a, another baby blanket. And uh, so I've been working... Was able to work on it and put a row in, and I got a couple of amigurumis, and I've been uh, taking them out of the uh, old uh, book. Let me grab it; it's just right here. <laughs> I am definitely not prepared. I never am. I'm not a uh, a pro, I guess you could say, at <laughs> being prepared. Okay, it's a couple of amigurumis out of this book right here, and it is by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding. <clears throat> 
And so, the ones that I ended up making next for the baby blanket, here it is. Make sure I show you correctly. <laughs> I ended up making a shark and the blowfish. I think that's what that is. <laughs> blowfish. But isn't it cute? I sat down and finally made up the next row. But I think this is going to be such a sweet blanket. And the yarn that I used on the bottom one here is a um, skein that I had of uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and it's some blue that I had. And so anyway, I still got another row of this color, the blue. And anyway, so here's my shark. So you up close. And I just whip stitch the eyes. She uses uh, safety eyes. And then I got the little blowfish. And so, so cute. And they were really easy to make. And I used, I believe it was a five and a half uh, millimeter hook. It's my green one. It's this one right here. And it is, yep, five and a half millimeter hook on my messy old cart. <laughs> it is such a mess. But I guess that's just the way it is when you make things, huh? I try to keep it organized, but once it gets organized, I just go right back at making it a mess out of it. Now, the, the uh, amigurumis that I d ended up making out of it, which is the shark. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Oh, my goodness. I had so much fun making him. Oh, my. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever made a shark, if I remember, if I remember correctly. It is. And so, so cute. And it was really easy. And like I said, it was out of this book because that's what I'm trying to do is whenever I make uh, one of those squares with a critter on it, a sea critter, I'm going to pick an ocean theme out of here. So he's so cute. I love his teeth. <laughs> and this was just a, I think this was a uh, yarn. I don't think Walmart carries it anymore. It was one of their grays. And it was one I had a skein of, a ball, a scrap ball. And it's mainstay. And then this is mainstay white and then some mainstay red. And then his little safety eyes. So I have him. My basket's getting full. This is one of uh, Pamela from Pamela's Adore and Crochet. One of her uh, basket tutorial that she came out with. And, and it's getting full. That's all the little critters I've made out of the book so far. I love this little sea turtle. They're just so sweet. I highly recommend that book. I really do. I love that book. But they're all just so cute. <laughs> a little whale. Oh, my. And, of course, the little mermaid. Love her. So cute. <laughs> oh, and the little crab. Makes me want to play with them. <laughs> oh, and the little seahorse was so fun to make. And then this one was the very first one because I got to, uh, um, oh, what do you, review the book. <laughs> and so this is the one that I did. And, and then I've made the little starfish. Got him upside down there. And I made the jellyfish, but I did him in Christmas colors. But I'm going to do him in some different colors. I just threw him in there. And then this is Sunfish. I don't remember who the designer is, but it, I thought it was the sweetest thing. <laughs> so cute. But anyway, he'll go in my basket, and it's getting full. So, and then the next one I end up picking out of the book to make is the Blowfish. Get him to turn around there, right? Isn't he cute? <laughs> he was really fast, too, to make. Got his little eyes there. So cute. And just a bunch of scrap balls that I had. So, he'll be going into the basket. So, that's what I have there for my baby blanket. Now, the one that I am... Make sure I got everything else done. Okay. The last time uh, I showed you... I uh, was on here. I showed you my... Uh, I keep wanting to call it a starburst. But it's a sunburst blanket. And it's by Jade and Stitches. Now, it is a baby blanket. And she used a three-weight yarn. But I'm making it bigger... And I'm using a four weight yarn and I used a, I believe it was a five millimeter hook. And so, um, I absolutely loved working on the first one and I just grabbed all my scraps out of a basket that I had 
and just threw it all together and made it all scrappy. And then I decided I wanted to do one in nothing but blues and greens. And then I put some white in it because I wanted something that kind of looked um, wintry like. So, Cause I'm gonna put it on the back of my couch. I, now I put my Valentine one back there just to see what my kitty cats would do. And uh, I didn't want them to snag it. And they did real well with it. They didn't snag it um, or anything. So, and it washed up, you know, really pretty and everything. So, and I got it put up because Valentine's is over. So I wanted to put my new one that I got finished. I got it finished and I'm so excited about it. I absolutely love it. I think it is, abs um, I think it's one of my favorite blankets that I've ever made. And this one is my favorite. Cause I just love all the colors and it just, I don't know. It just really makes me happy. <laughs> and so it's one of my favorite, like I said, one of my favorite blanket patterns. So I'm going to uh, probably pause my video and put it on the back of my couch so I can show you guys what it looks like. And then I'm going to try to uh, show you a picture of it with it all spread out. So, but anyway, I'm going to show you right here first how it turned out. And I can't remember where I was at the last time I showed you. But here it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this blanket so much. It is. It's my favorite, this pattern of a blanket. It's just, I look so forward to sitting there and working on this. I did. I just, I didn't want it to stop. I guess I could have really made it big, but I like my blankets to be just the, the size, you know, to cover me up, but also to fit in my washing machine if I need to wash them. But I used up a lot of my scraps and a lot of my skeins. I bought a bunch of these. Whenever Hobby Lobby had their uh, clearance going, I had bought a bunch of like the variegated stuff. And then it just sat there and sat there. And I thought, I'm not going to really make anything, you know, like a, like a shawl or anything like that with it. I don't know. I'll just use it to put in a blanket. And so that's what I did. And I think it turned out so pretty. And a lot of this is... Uh, well, it's Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, Mainstay, uh, Red Heart, Super Saver, and then the uh, Premier from the Dollar Tree. So, but I think it turned out beautiful. And I just love it. So, I'm going to pause you again, and I'm going to put it on the back of my couch, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> uh, you can't really see the center of it, but um, you get the idea of how it looks now, but uh, I think it's beautiful. I love it. It just makes me happy whenever I look at it. And uh, yeah, so I, I think it's beautiful. And so that's where it's going to stay right now. And hopefully my kitty cats won't do anything to it. <laughs> hopefully they'll be able to get out there or get up there when they decide to without having their uh, claws out. But anyway, I do. I love that blanket very much. Okay, so of course... I had to end up making me another one. <laughs> I mean, I started me another one. So I decided that I'm just going to go in there. And I thought, I'm going to pull out all the colors that look springy to me. And so I went and I picked out all that I had that's been sitting on my shelf. And then some of them I'd picked up not too long ago. And I thought, I might as well see if I can uh, get, you know, through them. Use them. That's what they're there for, I guess. <laughs> And so I put them all in my basket and here they are. I've got this whole basket full of a bunch of colors that look kind of springy to me. And so I got one started and here it is. <laughs> I think it is so pretty. And, uh, and that, and they do have the 12. That one's got 12. Now my very first one that I made, I messed up on it and I had 11, but I figured out where I'd started, where I made the mistake. I didn't put um, 12 double crochets in the very beginning. Uh, you start off with the chain three and, uh, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking and I wasn't feeling good at the time. So that's my excuse. <laughs> but anyway, I started me another one, uh, yesterday. And so, and then I worked on my, um, my hand towel. And then last night before I went to bed, I had just one row one a hat, part of this row last night done, and I thought I because I'd worked on this yeah started it yesterday during the day, 
And I thought, okay, I got to finish that last row before I go to bed because I want to see what that color looks like. And I still got it right here, and it's a uh, Red Heart Super Saver, and I think it's lilac. No, it's actually light jasmine. Beautiful color. So anyway, I think it's so pretty. And uh, I'm just going through here using a bunch of, like I said, yarn that I had, and it's just setting up on the shelf. And here's one of them. I bought this one at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if that one was on clearance, but this one is like uh, instant classic. And I thought that looked springy, maybe summery like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to use what I think looks springy to me. So pretty, and I love this. So another one started, guys. <laughs> and I'm sure there'll be another one after this, after this too. So I like to do one in like the Christmas colors and fall and maybe Halloween and, you know, summer, of course, and all. So I'm just going to keep going and try to bust through a lot of my yarn. And I am putting a big dent in it, so... That's what I got going there, and I think that might be it. I've, uh, here's my notes. I, were actually, I was actually uh, sitting on it. <laughs> and I am using a 5 millimeter hook, if I haven't said that already. Now, Jada does have a video tutorial on this, and she does have a free PDF download if you'd like to have that instead. And like I said, it is really easy to make. I, I could just set there. I've got it memorized now. So, fun, you know, thing to take with me whenever me and hubby goes somewhere and he's driving and uh, I want to crochet so I can just sit there and work on my my uh, sunburst. Not star, but sunburst. <laughs> I would like to make one of nothing but yellowy and orange colors, you know, to, you know, like the sun, just kind of, but I I guess there's all different. I mean, I know there's different shades of oranges and of yarn and yellow that I can find, but I just don't know if there's that many, you know, I'd like to see what I can come up with. And, of course, do one in Christmas. That'd be pretty, like, in a sparkly. And our Walmart still hasn't come out with that sparkly mainstay yarn yet. <laughs> I don't know what the, the holdup is, so I don't know. But I did notice that Red Heart Super Saver uh, did come down on their uh, sparkly type yarn, so I might just grab some of that. But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off here. My video is almost 30 minutes long, and... Benny, I want to get up here and share with you guys because I wanted to, I'm anxious to start using my stuff over here, my dishcloths and uh, washcloths and put my blanket on the back of my couch, you know, because spring's going to be here before you know it, and then I'll be uh, wanting to get this one done to put up there. But anyway, I, again, thank you so much for all the prayers and the well wishes and stuff like that. I'm very grateful for it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I have this aggravating this cough and it just wants to hang on and a little bit of the congestion but not as bad but I, my energy starting to come back up because um, as I've mentioned a million times I have sleep apnea and I use a CPAP as you can probably see it leaves marks on my face <laughs> it leaves it right it swells up my forehead because it has a strap that comes through here and my eyes get these big old puffs right through here and it leaves a mask ring around my face and so I mean I've already got bags but it really gives me bags and so but I'm doing the last two nights I've done a lot better than I have been doing with it and I figure a lot of it had to do with me being sick and I just I couldn't breathe very good and and you know it was just all the above so I'm I'm doing a little better the last two days and so I've got more energy and I, I feel a lot better so thank you so much for the prayers they do work anyhow I guess I'm going to quit rambling and I'm going to hop off of here and hopefully my next video it'll be nice outside and I can do it out there where everybody can listen uh, to the birds and enjoy them before I go I will mention the birds I absolutely as you guys know I love birds I got a bird clock over here my family got me and I absolutely love that clock and every day and I think it was yesterday there were I have never in my whole life ever seen finches at one time as many as I had in my yard and then right on the not even right after that too long after that there was a bunch of robins hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them landed in my yard and you know I take bird seed and I just scatter it everywhere because we have a lot of ground feeders and you know a lot of them that eat out of the bird feeders and so, and then we had a bunch of doves right after that. It was absolutely 
it was just beautiful. It reminded me, and, and there were red birds, blue birds, everything. And then we had the deer in the background. It reminded me of the episode off of Bambi. There was a scene there where there was all these critters, and and that's what it reminded me of. But I do. I absolutely love my birds. I enjoy them every day. Me and a hubby, we have a bar set, you know, over here in our kitchen, and we have big windows in our kitchen, and. Uh, we sit there in the evening whenever we have our supper and we watch the birds and the deer while we're eating. It is, it's, it's, it's a blessing. It's a, it's a wonderful blessing that God has given us with a beautiful area and being able to see his creatures. So <laughs> I do, I absolutely love it. And we get to see the sunset too. So it is, I got a lot of trees to see it through, but we still can see it through the trees. <laughs> But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and I hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed day and I will be chatting at you guys real soon.